Now the surface texturing. Why you need surface texturing? What are the advantages of surface texturing? I'll let you know everything about that. Now, surface texture. Why you need surface texturing? Basically, a flat surface has the tendency to reflect more. Like in the flat surface, you can have only one reflection incident. Light comes to flat surface, hits the surface, some amount is transmitted and the left percentage is reflected back to the... So what textured surface basically does is we have a zigzag layer over the surface. As you can see in the, uh, on the left hand side of your screen, we have a zigzag surface. Now what zigzag surface do? It basically increases your reflection incidence so as to absorb multiple reflections. As you can see in this figure, like the blue line is the textured surface and you can see the black ray coming in, the dark black ray which is coming in is the incident light which hits the surface for the first time, some amount is reflected back and the left and then the left amount is transmitted which is useful which is useful for us. And then the reflected light hits the other surface, then again the reflection and transmit, uh, transmission happens, it again hits the surface, then again some amount of light is transmitted which is absorbed and again it hits the surface which, and then it is again reflected and some amount is transmitted. So in this way we have multiple reflections of the same light ray and we have much more absorbed amount of light. And now going back to the slide, this surface texturing is characterized by two parameters. One is the angle and the other is, it, is the depth. The depth is basically the is basically the height of the texture which you want. It's basically how much texturing you need and the angle of this dreaded blue line which you can see in the screen and this angle is with the horizontal is with the plane surface 